Hello everyone, my name is Gerard Fairley, and if you're an investor thinking about getting into the trucking business, then you have to be totally committed to safety. Um, I talked about this a few days ago in a YouTube short, so I thought I would just give, um, this is a very important topic, I thought I'd give more information. So anyway, many truck companies, smaller companies, um, get shut down, not because of an accident, but what they did before or after the accident occurred. Was the driver screened properly post, you know, pre-hire, pre-hire? Was the driver screened? Was the load secure? Was the equipment in great condition? So today I'll talk about what happens when an accident occurs and I'm gonna highlight the responsibilities of the truck company and the driver. It could be two different entities, right? Um, if you're an investor, you need to know these things. So, life happens. Despite our best efforts, life happens. Accidents happen. Um, and you just have to know, you know, what to do afterwards. Assuming that you have insurance together, you better have insurance together, right? Don't play around. But your immediate response is um, reporting, right? Um, first and foremost, safety is, this has got to be the most important priority besides the money, the safety first, right? The driver has to be able to ensure everyone's safety and report uh, um, you know, to the local authorities. So he's going to secure the, secure the area, right? And you as the investor, the owner, have to know that it's a reflection on your ability, um, your company's compliance, right? And your safer score, your safety score, that you have to be able to document everything. So anyway, the driver's trained. The driver's trained um, first to document the scene. He put the cones out. You know, he'll go help uh, uh, if there's anyone that needs any medical attention. You know, he'll go help assist in that way, take photos of the accident scene uh, in the surrounding areas and probably try to get some witnesses if he can, right? That's, that's the first thing. Uh, witnesses, right? Um, for investors, knowing that your company and drivers are prepared to handle such situations, that's pre that can be reassuring. So, and when we sell a truck package, just in background, when we sell a package, we screen drivers for this. We check the FMCSA, FMCSA clearinghouse and stuff like that because you want to avoid as many accidents as possible. And the way to avoid that is by hiring essentially the best drivers you can. So that's why background check, clearinghouse check on your drivers is critical before you offer them um, a chance to work with you. So, and you have to do that, period. Uh, period. Otherwise, you open yourselves up to you know, problems unnecessarily. Anyway, um, so depending on where the accident happens, you know, certain states will send in different types of reinforcements to scout the scene, check it out, blah, blah, blah different types of uh, uh, enforcement, highway enforcement. Uh, certain accidents require immediate reporting to the FMCSA. So that means anything that requires medical attention or a involved vehicle to be towed, that's non-negotiable, you have to, you have to report those. So again, um, anyone who's involved in uh, um, an accident, if you're a truck driver, the next step now after that, um, Securing the scene and help you know is this you have to get that drug test in. So following FMCSA guidelines, if there's a tow or medical involvement, then the driver has what eight hours to get the alcohol test, and up to thirty two hours to get a drug test. And if they can't do that, it's got to be documented. They could possibly face some sanctions for that. But you know, so it's essential for investors to understand the seriousness of these protocols. Um, you know. And this is documented on at the at the safer level, in terms of your safety, accidents, all these things is in a database. You know you have to be able to work also work with your driver. Very important, work with your driver after the accident. You know post accident, to see if they need any other types of help or support, and if there's you got to go through your internal review to make sure that the investigation, you know. Uh, vets out what was the cause of the accident and if there needs to be a driver we got to fire them or whatever or because maybe it's not driver error right so you have to be able to take all this information and data and then come up with um, a decision and what to do going forward with the driver so 
Anyway, I hope this you understand better responsibilities as a truck company owner and what you have to do if your truck and driver is involved in an accident. Um, more importantly, how more importantly, how you can avoid as many accidents as possible. Uh, so join us and let us drive towards a future of success. My name is Gerard Fairley. Um, I'm here to guide you, give you some wisdom, information, some valuable knowledge to help you to, you know, secure your company and grow uh, fast as you can, but safely as well. Subscribe and follow for more information like this. Thank you.